choir with the cross bearer will first, the choir will let us pray before we continue. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, as we process through the sanctuary, we ask you go ahead of us, lead us by your presence, and let this service. Press go ahead of us. against you all the days of your life. 
as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Six, be strong and courageous, because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Seven, be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law that my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, that you might be successful wherever you go. Hey, keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night, so that may we be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. Nine. I have not commanded. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Ten. So Joshua ordered the officers of the people, go through the camp and tell the people. Get your provisions ready. Three days from now, we will cross the Jordan here to go into and take possession of the land the Lord your God is giving you for your own. This is the word of God. In verse 1 to 15. John 15. 1 to 15. The typeset is on page 12 of the program. If seen, I read. I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. While every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. Verse 5. I am the vine. You are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If you do not remain in me, you are like a branch that is thrown away and withered. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me, and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. Verse 8. This is to my Father's glory, that you bear much fruit, Show yourselves to be my disciples. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. Verse 11. I've told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friend. You are my friend if you do what I command. Verse 15 and the last. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I've called you friends for everything that I've learned from my father I've made known to you. This is the way of the Lord.
now we are about to hear from you. Use me and minister your word to the church. To pray and give thanks to God at that Army Day celebration. Administration as panacea for effective militancies about anything. But in everything, let your request be made known to God. Blessings and faithfulness to us through the years that are past, that we are not consumed. Let me of duty. It is my prayer that God in his infinite mercy will continue to guide and direct all your ways throughout your door of duty and cause you to finish well and also finish strong. Amen. Let me quickly remind the congregation that Nigerian Army Day celebration is organized among many other things to reflect on the gains of the Nigerian Army to appreciate the sacrifices and contributions made by officers and men of the Nigerian army for unity, peace, and stability of our dear country, Nigeria. We remember the unfortunate 30 months long Nigerian civil war, which was announced by a shot that was fired on the 6th of July, 1967 at Garken village in present-day Cross River State. It was fought to keep Nigeria one, and a lot of soldiers paid the supreme price with their precious life in that process. We are aware also of many security challenges that have bedeviled our dear country Nigeria for the past 13 years or thereabout ranging from Boko Haram, Iswap terrorist groups, killer headsmen, and banditry, indigenous people of Biafra and its militia arm, known as Eastern Security Network, kidnapping for ransom, which has become a lucrative business to some criminal elements in the society. In some parts of the country, people can no longer sleep with their eyes closed. Our security men are overstretched. Some of them pay the supreme price with their precious lives on a daily basis for the sake of peace in this country. I doubt if there is anyone seated in the church this morning who has not lost either a family member a friend or a colleague in the ongoing security challenges in our country. Permit me to say that the Nigerian Army Day celebration is aimed to serve as a constant reminder of the sacrifices paid by troops who lay down their lives to ensure that peace remains in this country, that this country remains united some of them are men. Others are still in the hospitals with various degrees of injuries. The nation owes a debt of gratitude to men and women of the Nigerian army. As we all know, the task of providing security is not an easy one, but it is not impossible. John chapter 15 verse 13 where we took our second lesson says, greater love has no one than this, than to lay down one's life for his friends. It is one's life. They deserve a standing ovation. Come on, let us celebrate for their unconditional love, support, prayers, and only. The theme for this year's celebration, as I mentioned earlier, is must play his role well. Without being cited as one indivisible entity, everyone I have a role to play. As politicians have a role to play.
captains of industry. Take the streets of Nigeria. Everyone has a role to play. Please. Every one of us very well for us to remain united. To crown our effort with success. Amen. To him alone be all the glory. On and then our mothers will sing this uh as this bar. Whether you sing now Bahomu or Baba I don't know which one. But father uh to put them. So start singing. Please permit me to underscore the Nigerian Army's considerable achievement in the fight against terrorism, insurgency, armed banditry, and other forms of criminality in the various theaters of operations within the country. We have continued to coordinate our efforts closely with sister services and other security agencies to sustain the pressure on the enemies of our country. For instance, our coordinated efforts in the Northeast Theater under the auspices of Operation Adin Kain yielded considerable successes. As a date, we have over 100,000 members of the dreaded Boko Haram and Islamic State West African Province groups that have surrendered to our men. These unprecedented achievements by the Nigerian Army alongside its sister services and other security agencies has led to a more stable environment for governance and economic activities to try. The Nigerian Army also recorded tremendous feats in our operations to eliminate violent acts of banditry, illegal oil bombing, and other forms of criminality in other parts of Nigeria. Of particular importance is the contribution of the Nigerian Army in entrenching democracy in our country. The professional manner in which the Nigerian Army has supported the smooth conduct of all elections in the country since 1999 and displayed unalloyed loyalty to the Constitution of Nigeria and the government of the day projected us as a force that believes in democracy as the only legal form of government as prescribed by our Constitution. Accordingly, I seize this opportunity to reaffirm the total commitment of the Nigerian Army to the defense of the Nigerian Constitution and our fatherland. The team for this year's NASEP has been deliberately coined as sound administration as a panacea for effective military operations. The objective is to refocus effort on administration as one of the wheels on which military operations run. Considerable improvement in our administration is a key driver for transforming the Nigerian Army as captured in my command philosophy which is to transform the Nigerian army into a well-trained, equipped, and highly motivated force towards achieving our constitutional responsibilities in a joint environment. Therefore, under my leadership, the Nigerian army, in addition to training, equipment procurement, and recruitment of additional manpower, we focus on all aspects of administration to boost our morale and physical component of the fighting force. This we hope to achieve through the provision of befitting and globally comparative accommodation, education, sporting 
recreational and health facilities for our personnel and their families. Our men deserve the best and that I hope to give. In closing, I wish to express my sincere appreciation to all Nigerians, to the clergy, the congregants, for your unwavering belief and trust in the Nigerian army. I also appreciate the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, His Excellency, Ashiwaki Bola Ahmed Kumbu, Grand Commander of the Order of the Federal Republic, for the confidence reposed in me to lead this noble organization at this time. I promise that the Nigerian Army under my leadership shall remain loyal, committed, disciplined, and responsive to the dictate of our constitution and shall be a potent instrument of power for the country. To the officers and men of the Nigerian Army and our beloved family members, I promise to provide good leadership that helps to serve the Nigerian army of your dream. I urge you to remain resolute, loyal, and disciplined as we continue to give our best in discharging our constitutional responsibilities. Finally, I appreciate the support that the Nigerian army receives from its sister services and other security agencies. I urge our sister services and other security agencies not to relent in cooperating with the Nigerian Army while we are doing everything possible to defend our territorial integrity and preserve peace in our dear country. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria God bless our armed forces. God bless the Nigerian army. God bless you all. Happy Nasser 2023. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much, Sam, for a goodwill message. We will now have the special and so, thanks. I would like to start by thanking Nigerians, even the members of uh, the international community, for their support for the Nigerian Army over the years. Nigerian Army has come a long way from the time it was established in 1865. And I must admit that the nation has faced some security challenges along the way. The troops have been responding to these challenges in all the geopolitical zones. With my assumption of command as the 23rd Chief of Army Staff, I want to implore Nigerians that they should continue to support the Nigerian Army. And I pledge the honor and loyalty of the troops to our constitution and the government of the day. We will do all within our power to combat every security challenges that are confronting our country, meet the expectations of Nigeria to provide a safe, secured environment for economic activities to thrive. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you so much. Good afternoon, Madam. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. And your charge to do that. As you heard me during my sermon, I preached on the theme that says sound administration as a panacea for military, for effective military operations, the role or the Christian role. And I took my text from John chapter 15, verse 13, which says, 
greater love has no one than this, than for a man to lay down his life for the sake of his friends. And I went further by saying that for us to succeed in all our military operations, everyone must play his role well. Everyone must play his role well. And I went further by saying that the politicians, be it military men, be it technocrats, businessmen and women, down to the common man in the society of Nigeria. Every man must play his role very well for us to succeed. And as military men, for us to play our role well, we must know that we are military men. And Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 4 says, No one enlisted into the army gets entangled with civilian affairs. His aim is always to please the one who enlisted them. Our loyalty is to the Commander-in-Chief. We are on oath to defend this country and we cannot do otherwise. And in the course of defending the country, so many people lose their lives. They pay the supreme price by laying down their lives for the sake of this country. They need to be appreciated by everybody in the country by playing our roles well. I think that is what I can say for my sermon. And of course, I was unable to preach well because of our time. I was under time limit. <laughs> Salmon. I'm Lieutenant Colonel, Venerable B.G. Newton, the Acting Director, Nigerian Army Chaplain Services Protestant. What's the, what's the full meaning of that B? Bilson Bonshini Gimba Newton. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.